Hello everyone and welcome to another Cut It Out Monday video. Today's video we're going to be making this cute little um, East, Easter Bunny envelope. It is a Make It Now project. It is called the Bunny Envelope or Envelope, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, so I went ahead and I made one. I'm going to be using these in my kids' baskets. So I went ahead and made one to see how it would come together. And so we're going to put together the other one. So I have all of my stuff here. I've already reinforced um, all of my folds on my envelope. Envelope, like I said, depends on how you want to pronounce it. Um, so we're just going to set that aside for now. And we're going to put together the ears. So I did change it up since I have two girls. I went ahead into two different colors. So we're going to just make sure that these line up inside the ears and before we glue those down we're gonna I'm gonna take some uh, of my pink Wink Estella here and just add a little bit around the edges of the ears just to give it a little something extra and I'm not gonna go to the very tip um, but I do want to at least go towards the bottom so that depending on how much of it actually shows we'll have it covered Okay, so there's one. I don't know if you can see that. Can you see the glimmer on there? Probably not. Hopefully you can in the pictures at the end. So again, I'm just going to do this one. And I'm going to go back and probably do a second coat. Um, I did the same thing on the other one. I just used the... Um, um, which one did I use? I used the dark pink on um, on those ears. Now, I will have to say the Wink Estellas do fool you a little bit. I do have a swatch here. Um, I can show you that real quick. Um, because in my opinion, the dark pink is almost red, or uh, the pink is almost a dark pink color. So this is the dark pink. Let me zoom in for you so you can see. So that's the dark pink, and then compare it to um, the pink one. So there's the pink and the dark pink. To me, this is more red than anything else, but this is a dark pink and this is pink. So I don't know who goofed. Um, I have the red one right here, so put that in between the two. And you can see that it's definitely closer to this color than anything else. It's it's really weird. So I made the swatch so that I could actually, you know, uh, stick to know what colors there are. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do a second coat towards the top on these. Try not to make it too lengthy of a video. Just to give it a little more sparkle, especially to this one where it kind of skipped out. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put that together. I'm just going to use my Tombow Mono to glue those down. I thought this was such a cute idea for inside their baskets, little notes. Um, also be great to put in their um, lunch boxes as well as um, I'm gonna put something heavy on that. Oh, let me zoom out. Sorry about that, guys. I'm just putting my markers on that to help hold it down because it was starting to curl. Um, so yeah, in their lunch boxes or what I just thought it was super cute. Um, and then of course that got the wheels a going um, to decide what else I want to do for my Easter series. I almost wasn't going to have an Easter series, but um. I ended up, you know, like I really checked the clock, or the clock, the calendar. I was like, oh, I've got weeks in there. Okay, yeah, let's do, let's do a little series here. Okay, so we have our ears are done. So now we're going to come to our teeth. It does cut out the teeth for you, but it draws the gap in there. And I didn't care for that, so I'm just going to go ahead and trim that out. Okay. 
you can leave a little bit of the black there. You can go in with a black marker and darken that up to give it a little depth, but I'm just going to go ahead and trim it off. Okay, and then it doesn't come with a nose, but I did make a nose. So we're going to open this up so that it's flat. Um, I wanted it to have a nose. It said to use a pom-pom, but I don't have any pom-poms, so I went ahead and just created a nose. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, these are our whiskers. You can do brown. I went ahead and did black just to save time. So one whisker is actually shorter than the other, which I didn't realize until after I cut these out. So I'm just going to attempt to center it and then pivot it. That look, that looks okay. Okay, I'm going to place the eyes where I want them so that I can get a good idea of how far down I want his whiskers to go, as well as our nose. So I think I like that, except the nose is not quite centered. So a yeah, little, little more space there. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to do a little dot on the whiskers. I'm not worried about the glue overhanging because again the nose will cover that up. This is just to kind of help hold that in place. And then I'm going to put a little extra glue around the outside there. And I'm also going to do the teeth. But we're going to glue the teeth to the nose. But we're not going to glue down all of the teeth because I do want the teeth to kind of hang off. So I'm going to press the teeth in place. Sorry about that. I went off camera for a second. And then we're going to just go ahead and lay down the nose. I know it's hard to see the white teeth against the white envelope. You could definitely change up. You could do like a light gray envelope if you wanted um, for a different colored bunny, but I went ahead and stuck with the white. That glue on my hand starting to come off. I'm actually going to do just a tiny little squirt right there to help hold that nose in place. And then a little more under the teeth, again, just to help hold that down. Okay, and for the eyes, I'm just going to put a little dot on the back. I'm actually going to use my tweezers here so I can get that right where I want it. I'm going to take a little bit of that dark, uh, that pink Winkastella and do just the tiniest bit around the bottom of his nose. Again, just to give it a little something. And then I'm going to take my clear and do his eyes so they sparkle as well. Not his whole eye necessarily, just most of it. 
This would also be cool if you put, um, um, what are those, googly eyes on here. That would be fun as well. I just don't happen to have any big enough on hand. I've got tiny ones. Okay, so before we glue down the ears, we're going to go ahead and do the inside. This part is a printable, um, the printable part of the card, or the envelope, I should say. Um, you could put this on the front of a card base. I would just size it a little smaller so it would fit because this is a relatively small sized envelope. Um, but again, great for their baskets, fun for their um, lunch boxes or backpacks or whatever. Um, I did change the background color to purple. Um, my other one, my other child has pink, so I thought it would be fun to kind of mix them up. So as you can see, it just fits inside. So I'm going to go ahead and glue that down. And I hadn't decided how I want to close the envelopes. I know I don't want to seal them because I'm gluing this inside. Um, but I don't know exactly what I want to do yet. So for now, I will not be closing the envelopes until I figure that out. Okay. So now what you want to do is close up your envelope, take your ears, and place them how you would like them to go. So they can be very straight or off to the side. And I think this one I'm going to do a little more off to the side. I think that looks really cute. So I'm just going to hold them in place and flip it over and then shift it a little more and then just hold down the very edge put down some glue and stick it down. This way it doesn't go too far off of what I originally wanted. And the same thing with the other side. Slip it up, holding down the edge, put down some glue, hold it in place, and then I can finish attaching everything so it's a little more secure. But that just that just stops you from going totally nuts while you try and get this to line up the way you'd like it. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I can already tell that my ears are a little off. <laughs> That's okay. So there you guys go. There's today's card. I hope you guys can see that shimmer. I think it just gives it a little something extra. I'll show you my other child's card. So there's that one. So there you guys go. There's today's project. I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday and we'll see you later. Happy crafting. Bye.